Sunny here from Oil and Vinegar Junction. So our recipe for the week is an awesome baked brie with a homemade cherry jam to go on top of it. This is a perfect one for through the holidays. The cherry flavor is fabulous for that. And then also it's a great one if you happen to have someone, you know, drop into your home unexpectedly and you have these things on hand, you can have it ready start to finish in about 15 minutes. So we're just going to go ahead and jump in and I'm going to show you how easy this is to do. Alright, so we are going to start off with our cherry jam. So all we need to do for that, we're just going to turn the stove top on medium. I have a cup of cherries in here with the pits removed from them. And to that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of water and half of a lemon juiced and then two tablespoons of sugar and we're going to give that a quick stir and to this we're also going to add just about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and then a couple grinds of some fresh pepper. While our jam works on cooking down, we're going to go ahead. For the baked brie, all we have is just a small wheel of brie. It's put on a piece of parchment paper. Our oven's been heating to 450 degrees. And then to that, to finish off our um, baguette for it, I am using my Meyer lemon olive oil. And we're just going to base just a little bit on the top of each one. It will give it a little bit of flavor, but it also helps it get that great golden crunch as it toasts up. I like it with the lemon going through Thanksgiving. And then after Thanksgiving, it's super fun with the blood orange to get that little kick of orange that we all love around the holidays. As soon as I get all the oil on these, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop this in the oven for about 10 minutes. And the great thing about it is our baguette can just cook up right at the same time as our brie. I've pulled this with about six minutes in, and I'm just going to go ahead and drop these on my tray. I don't want them to get too, too crunchy. And then we'll let the brie go ahead and finish off for those last four, three, four minutes or so by itself. We're going to add in two sprigs of thyme. And our brie is done. This is something that, like timing wise, it turns out perfect that everything really can kind of just finish easily together and you can move from one component to the next. And I think that's why I like this so much. Okay, you can see how that's clinging to it. So I've gone ahead, I've turned the heat off, I added a teaspoon of my cherry vinegar. Mmm and getting that little bright burst of the vinegar in there as it's hitting the rest of the jam right now. So wonderful. All right, so our ooey gooey, fabulous brie is ready to go right in the middle. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our cherry jam and just put it right over the top of that brie and make sure we scrape out all of that fabulous goodness in that pan. Kind of let it just ooze little drips of that. This is so perfect, so beautiful, so tasty. I think we need to give it a try. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut into this get some of this fabulous, messy, delicious brie with this cherry jam. We're going to give it a taste. I love this. Brie is one of my favorite cheeses. I think it's because it's so nutty and it complements that fruit flavor so well with the cherry in there. So you get a little bit of kick from the vinegar, just the smallest amount. And here and there, that little bit of taste of that pepper. It's awesome, and it finishes perfectly with just that bright lemon flavor that's in the oil and then also that little bit that's in the jam. I really, really think that you're going to love this. It's something easy to take you through the holidays that doesn't look easy. 
but will be sure to impress any guest, any company, any friends, and particularly any family you have around. So as always, from my store to your kitchen, enjoy.